College Board announced this week that the SAT is officially going digital and the changes will be seen as soon as 2024. 23 ABC's Rosara Simone spoke with a testing official to find out how this will impact students here in Kern County and across the nation. Is this it? The end of the number two pencil era? With the College Board's recent announcement, several students are dropping their pencils and picking up their laptops. At first glance, it seems like just one more curveball and an already confusing college admissions process. But ultimately what this means is our students are going to have options and that's always good. Head of testing at Higher Scores Test Prep, Christina Varner, says although the SAT is going digital, students who prefer paper will have the ACT as an option. This digital approach is designed to allow more access for students. It's going to allow for more testing opportunities. It's going to offer a more streamlined testing process. It's cuts down the length of the test by an hour at least. Varner says the College Board even prepared for technological issues. If a student's self, um, you know, device runs out of battery, it's going to automatically save. If there's an internet outage, it's going to automatically save. Varner also says this test is more intuitive. One of the new features of the SAT being digital is that it will be adaptive, which means the questions that come in the second module are dependent on the understanding that a student demonstrates in the first. But even with these new advances, Senior Director of Strategic Communications at the California State University Office of the Chancellor, Michael Uhlenkamp, says the test is still the test. Is there other still the equity issues remain, even if it is digital, you know, is there the test prep that people that come from more affluent families or that aren't the first generation that understand the importance of the test, you know, is it skewed towards this? So I think those questions still exist. Eulen Camp says for this reason, the CSU Board of Trustees is thinking to eliminate the SAT and ACT from admission requirements altogether, but Varner still sees the value in the test. If a student falls short in any um, academic grade sort of um, qualifier, they can use those test scores to help them qualify for entry to these schools. Varner also says test scores can come in handy when applying for merit-based scholarships and that juniors and seniors don't have to worry. It's those sophomores that might want to consider testing a little sooner than they had planned and taking advantage of the paper SAT while it's available to secure a score before they experience a digital PSAT or a digital SAT later. In Bakersfield, Rosaura Simone, 23ABC Connecting.